Let's look for another game. All right, we're back in the building. This guy is looking like he's got some really super uber powerful stuff here. He's got Terrakion, Terrakion. Uh, I have no idea what he could possibly lead with. If we're going to Women's Cop, we could possibly save ourselves from a lot of the stuff that he wants to do. But for now, I really don't see. I really don't like the Rotom Wash. That thing is. Like, if Rotom Wash didn't exist, that'd be amazing. <laughs> but it does. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to deal with. Women's Cop looking like the best lead. Here. All right, now because he's got the Lando in there, I'm not liking this. So we might see this as an opportunity to go for maybe our Galvantula so we can possibly get up our Sticky Web early game. I mean, even though it really won't matter too much, all, almost all of his Pokemon are flying. Almost all of his Pokemon are freaking flying in the first place. So what's the point of getting the Sticky Web up? Should probably go into Mammo, maybe gotten the Stealth Rocks up. That would have been a lot better, but hey. You know what? Fuck it. Because, except it will help for Terrakion. So let's just get it up right now. Damn, a one hit KO with the freaking Earthquake? Well, goddamn, nigga. All right, that's fine. Let's get up our Stealthies now. Although he might just see this coming. Because, you know, obviously, Aishaw will threaten this Lando out. So, you know, but then again, I bought in Minus One so fast. That he's probably gonna say, oh, he's gonna go straight for it. Maybe he's gonna go for, you know, but nah, we're good, we're good. Okay, so good, now let's go for the Ice Shard and finish this guy off. Okay, so, you know, he gave a Pokemon to me, I gave a Pokemon to him and some damage, but I do got my Stealth Rocks and my Sticky Web up. This may help me later on. Who knows, though? We'll see. We'll honestly see. But he's probably looking at my team and saying, oh, man, they're all weeks of flying. Yeah, you know, Talent Flame's gonna be easy to clean up here. We gotta play careful around that. We gotta play extremely careful around that shit. Let's go into Chest Nizzle. I'll be able to take what this Rotom wants to do. Hydro Pump missed, that's fine. Um, now, let's go for... Because, you know, Talon Flame is most likely going to come in. So I'm thinking... Hmm, I'm thinking, hey, why not go for a Hammer Arm just in case to preempt the Talon Flame coming in? Or he's gonna probably go for a freaking... Um, Will-O-Wisp here. It's pretty obvious that the Will-O-Wisp is coming. So, maybe a hammer on the knee better. Or a wood, I mean, a wood hammer, obviously. But, I mean, if the Talon Flame comes in, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be real ugly. Probably gonna have to give up, um, Chestnut here. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go straight for it. Okay, Gliscor. That's okay. Alright then, and maybe he might just have Aerial Ace, so let's play this a little careful here. I do I do regret that I lose Galvantula, but that's alright, that's okay. I don't want to get hit with an Aerial Ace though from the first board if it's a possibility since he bought it in so fast. Alright, so he's got Substitute. Probably gonna go for a Toxic now. the best option. Probably to spin away my hazards. Let's do that. So at least this way, you know, I'm not getting that much damage here. Now, okay. Also, let's, let's Mega Evolve, just to ensure that we have our max damage, just in case, or our max defense, just in case, you know? You, you never know. You never freaking know. Because, you know, if I do need to bring Blastoise in on something, at least I'll have that extra ball from the Mega Evolution to take on some shit. So he's gonna go probably for the protect, you know, stalling with scores as usual. And now we can catch this guy with an earth, with a encore. And now he's gonna be stuck on the earthquake. This will give us a chance to um, maybe set up a substitute of our own, and to um, but it's gonna let him get at full health though. So that kind of sucks. But hmm, we could threaten to go in there with our chestnut and then show him the bulk up. He'll be threatened out by the bulk up and probably just go straight into his talent flame trying to get a sweep going. But, hmm, I mean, that would be nice if he did that. But if he does come in there with Talon Flame, it's going to be an issue fighting that thing. But then again, I don't have entry hazards up on my side of the field anymore. So that's where, you know, the good thing is. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. The entry hazards are gone. So, you know, that works out pretty nicely. In fact, this might just be the best option here. 
we can go into Chestnut, bluff the bulk up. I mean, bluff that we're going to stay in bulk up and bulking up. And then, um... Okay, so now, let's go back into Whimsicott. Just to play it a little bit safe, you know? He's gonna stay in there with Gliscor, because he knows he has pretty much... We have nothing to threaten this thing out. But you know what, let's go for another Encore. He's gonna stay in? If he wants to play the stall game, I can play that game too, you know? I mean... I, I can recover health. I definitely can recover some health here. In fact, I can go for the Trick Room right now, so I'll be faster than this guy. Alright, so that's good. Now, we'll be faster than him if I bring in somebody. So, this is a good move now, because this means I can come in with, like, maybe Chestnut and outspeed this guy. Hmm. Let's go for a sub. Yeah, this is going to be a stally game. I wish I had gotten the lead seat off on him though. Let's go for another encore. All right, so now this is okay. Okay, I know I'm playing really stally, but this might just possibly help us. I want to force him to switch as much as possible, man. As much as humanly possible. Let's go for an encore now. Force him to protect up. So now we can get some HP back. <laughs> oh man, we got him stuck here. All right, so now um, I have to go for a lead seat, preempting the switch. I can get my HP up here really nicely. And then we can come in with um, Chestnut. Let's go for another Trick Room. It's gonna protect. Trick Room, make this shit go our way now. And he's gonna... I, I, well, I, I'm not switching, man. I can stay in here all day. <laughs> this is fucked up, but hey, if he came in there with Gliscor, ready to protect stall me, then, hey, if he came in there with his Gliscor ready to toxic protect stall me, then hey, I then is there anything wrong with me stalling to get my HP up to get an opportunity to hit this guy really hard? Hey, it's all part of the game, baby. It's all part of the game. I'm just waiting for that switch. I'm telling you, I'm getting in there. I'm only switching somebody in when I got a fresh trick room up and all of that. Okay, let's go for another leech. And um, I'm waiting for that switch. I'm waiting for the switch. All right, so now. Let's encore him once more. Um, I don't know why he thinks I'm not going to. I mean, I don't know why he doesn't just switch. Just switch out. Even if you go into Terrakion, that's a more favorable situation for me. I, I got the Trick Room still, you know. So I'm not. I'm not too bothered by this situation here. I can be here all day, man. You need to hurry this up. But you know what? Okay, whatever. Now I'm going to encore this guy. So this way, we, 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 have, we have it guaranteed that we're going to have our Trick Room up when um, Chestnut comes in. And now, let's go for the Trick Room again. <laughs> this is taking long. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really, really sorry about this. This is a stally game. This is definitely a stally game. But um, hopefully we can make this shit work out for us in the end. He's not losing anything. I'm only gaining. But it's fine. We, we have to force a switch. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, we got this guy on the switch. So now we can hit him with the leech seed and we can get some health back from this. And um, let's hit something else with the leech seed just to be 100% sure what we're doing is correct here. I want to see what he's going to do. Iron head? Okay. Okay, so now that we know he's going for iron heads. We can just go for a substitute again. Stall him out a little bit more. All right, so now that we have the lead seat up, this is gonna work out pretty well for us. We can play a stally game here, man. This is fucked up. It's fucked. <laughs> but hey, we, we're, we're gonna make this shit work out, man. We're gonna make this shit work out. This is gonna be a long fucking battle. He's gonna keep going for the iron heads, but thanks to the lead seat and the um, life for, I mean, and the leftovers, we'll be able to really. Do some nice stalling here. Let's go for another substitute. Whimsicott is an annoying Pokemon. Holy fucking crap. This thing is really irritating. Alright, so the Shadow Sneak is obviously not going to be able to. Alright, he's got leftovers on his H slash? This is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Hmm. If we go in there with our Ember now, we can't. Because, you know, I don't want this battle to be stall hell for you guys. Uh, if we do go into our Ember now, we should be able to live the Iron Head or the Shadow Sneak since, you know, fighting resist Ghost. We should be able to, but the Ghost move is what bothers me, you know what I mean? But then again, he does have negative speed, so we should be good. But then again, Rotom Wash is a thing, so 
Yeah, at this point now, we just gotta keep stalling, man. Huh. But at least we're getting some damage off an Aegis Slash, which is good. Hmm. Okay. Let's go for another sub. The stall is too real. You're damn right it is. <laughs> this is what Whimsicott does. I'm probably gonna have to fast forward this shit for you dudes. I'm probably gonna have to fast forward this shit. This shit is taking way too long. The stall is definitely real, man. It is definitely real right now. Whim is stall. Yeah, well, this score is stall. <laughs> yeah, that's what good score does, right? This guy was ready to protect stall me with toxic to death. So hey, I don't see what I'm doing as anything too wrong. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> this is totally fucked. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, there we go. Fucking great. So now that he has his talent flame in there, let's go for a leech seed. You know what? Oh, and wait, no, he might just go for a bulk up. Or, uh. He might just go for a bulk up. So, you know what? Let's just go for an encore. Oh, no, he's gonna go straight for the Brave Bird. Alright. That's fine. He's stuck on Brave Bird now. Which. may or may not be a good thing. No, that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, but we can let his Talent Flame kill my um, Whimsicott now and that won't be a problem because my entry hazards are removed from my side of the field so I'm not too bothered by it if anything we could possibly get up a, a leech seed try to get up a leech seed okay let Talonflame kill Whimsicott I'm fine with that we're both dead now and so now I can come in there with um let's see let's see hmm I will outspeed a lot of the stuff that's on his side of the field, you know? I will I will be able to outspeed a lot of it. We can go into Mega Blastoise and um, potentially... Oh, you know what? Let's go into Blastoise. I'm feeling like Blastoise is probably the best choice here. Alright, so we got the Glyph score in there now. Let's go for a Dark Pulse. Here we go, Stall City again. Because he's going to be faster, and if he's faster, then that means he can stall. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I pretty much. Because he's going to be faster. It's going to pretty much make it so that I can't kill anything. And plus, Mamoswine will lose a lot. Will pretty much die because of Life Orb. And he'll be able to just stall me out. You know what? I think I have to remove Life Orb from Mamoswine in order to be able to battle these Gliscors. Because otherwise, he's going to stall me out. Yeah, man. There's no hope. There's no hope, man. That's it. Damn. All because Mamoswine has Life Orb. That's pretty much how it's gonna be. He's gonna stall me out now. Damn. This is fucked up. All we can do is keep the pressure up, I guess. He's gonna have Protect, Substitute, getting up a bunch of HP every turn. So yeah, I mean, he's gonna be playing the same stall game I was playing, except he's actually gonna be defeating me while doing it. If Mamoswine didn't have Life Orb, then this wouldn't be something that's possible, but I got Life Orb, man. I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to kill the guy. Because he's just going to be able to go into Rotom. So you know what? Let's just go into my Mamoswine now. We got no other option at this point. We might as well just go for the Ice Shard. Rotom Marsh, here we go. Of course, of course. The coverage, man. Oh, you, the team. The movie. The everything. <laughs> Oh man, okay, let's just go for a superpower, fuck it. I don't really care anymore at this point. Stall the game, man. And he's gonna hit us with a hidden power, critical hit. Okay. Man. And now we can go for maybe let's just go for a hammer. You know what? No, let's just go for a wild charge. Although Gliscor is coming in. Why don't we go for Flare Blitz? Since Gliscor is gonna be coming in, I'll hit everything really hard. This is dumb. If I had my Mammoth Swan with the freaking, without Life Orb, I would have been able to fucking threaten this Gliscor out, man. But then Rotom would have come in, but you know, I would have loved the force switch to Rotom over his Gliscor staying and stalling things to death.
Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. He's gonna stall us. Hmm. Yeah, Galvantula. It would have been great to have Galvantula in there. Yeah, this is pretty much a snack wrap. I already know what this battle is going to look like. I'm just going to leave this. Man, you got it. Stall. This score wins this game. That sucked, but now this has me really thinking, you know, maybe Mammoth Swine would be better off, like, maybe with a muscle band or something, or something like leftovers or something, you know, I mean, that, that would be better than Life Orb, because, you know, that extra damage I'm going to be taking, I can't threaten Gliscors out with that shit, man. And if, and if my um, Galvantula goes down, who has Hidden Power Ice, then what's the point? What's the damn point in that scenario, you know? Alright, but now that we're fighting some more standard teams, we're going against some more standard strategies and, you know, we're seeing that it's tough. It's tough in there, you know? It's tough because there's a, there's a lot of staple strategies like that Gliscor that, you know, require really fast Pokemon. And if Gliscor was affected by the Sticky Web, that'd be great, but he's not. So, you know, we're going to try out the Leftovers Mammal Swine and we'll see how it works out. We'll really see how it works out. I don't know. We'll try it though, man. Let's just see. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.